Five years ago, a group of women lawyers founded the Center for Women in Law at the University of Texas School of Law in order to make a meaningful difference in the lives of the women who followed them, both by providing tools to navigate individual careers and by achieving permanent and significant change in the profession itself. The Center is a remarkable organization because it was conceived by women, founded by women, funded by women. Its strategy and vision is directed by women. When we were thinking about what to do and how to form the Center, we did research. And we looked around to see, was there something like the Center that we were envisioning that would be a gathering place for women to meet, to exchange ideas, to develop programs, and enhance pathways for other women lawyers. We found that there was nothing like that in the country. The Center's Women's Power Summit on Law and Leadership is one of the most significant gatherings of women lawyers in the country. Held biennially, the Women's Power Summit provides a rare opportunity for leaders, general counsel, judges, government officials, law firm managing partners, law school deans and bar presidents to engage in sophisticated programming and at the same time hold a serious dialogue on issues of vital importance to women lawyers. There are very few places that I find myself in the same room with as many women of accomplishment as we're able to assemble at these events. The Austin Summit was a truly extraordinary experience, one that elevates the dialogue so much from anything I've previously experienced. The Center Created and Administered Consortium for Advancing Women Lawyers gives member organizations a variety of means to communicate and work together in order to leverage efforts and use resources efficiently. Gathering the people who are thinking about these issues on a daily basis in a room together um, to make sure that that conversation continues to move forward. You need to really address the, these issues that the numbers haven't changed for 20 years. So what does that mean? How can we work together? The Consortium for Advancing Women Lawyers is a unique setting for generating ideas for innovative research and special projects about women in the law. At the 2009 Women's Power Summit, the country's female lawyers generated and exchanged ideas and field-tested solutions, culminating in the Austin Manifesto, which calls for specific, concrete steps to tackle obstacles facing women in the profession today. In addition, center publications and speeches bring new thinking and ideas to the profession while highlighting barriers women still face. Since its launch in 2009, the Center has become a nationally recognized and effective voice in advancing women in the profession. Recently, the Center highlighted significant research by Harvard professor Mazarin Banaji on the science of unconscious bias by well-meaning people. Implicit biases are really just bits of knowledge that we have picked up from our experience. And they can be seen as, as having become habits of thought things that are just so well practiced that it's impossible for us to not do them. The Center provides cutting edge, focused educational programs that serve women in all stages of their careers, from first year law students to the most experienced and accomplished attorneys. With a goal of increasing the number of women in the pipeline to general counsel, the Center offers coaching for in-house lawyers. The coaching groups include six face-to-face -face group coaching sessions led by Center founder Catherine Lambelay, retired general counsel of Shell Oil. During the course of the six months, I experienced a true paradigm shift in the way that I think about my ability to be successful. I now understand what it means to take control of my career. The in-house coaching program was a true game changer for my career. I learned how much deliberate actions can shape one's career path. The Women in Law Institute is a prominent example of the center's unique programs. Formerly the Leadership Boot Camp, the Institute is an all-day, intensive workshop for students and law clerks. You must be able to make sure that people understand the value you add. And for some of us, that seems to be very difficult. And I can tell you today, the self-promotion seminar will be the one where we have the most impact. Having the ability to practice after each session was what really made the boot camp stand out from other leadership development and, and networking events I've been to. It was really interesting to learn and to see how hard it was to promote myself. Um, I think that's something a lot of women 
have problems with. I think the most valuable thing I learned was about effective communication and how to how to speak with partners and how to be concise when I talk. Um, I think it's going to be really helpful this summer when I'm at these law firms and I have to make presentations about research. It was amazing to see the transformation, the confidence that was built, uh, the understanding of why these things are important. Since 2009, the center has trained more than 500 students and engaged 200 practitioners as coaches. I have to say, looking back now, five years later, I could not be more excited about the great progress the center has made, and it has touched more lives, I think, in all candor than we could have possibly envisioned when we began our journey. On behalf of the Center for Women in Law, the women it has impacted, and the profession, Thank you. Your generous support is helping to open opportunity in the profession to all people.